Uh, yeah, I mean, they had a, they had a tough go at uh, UT, so I think they're definitely coming out motivated and playing real hard. Yeah. Is, there, is there something to that, like after a tough loss, that you feel it incumbent in the next game, that, man, we got we to gotta break this ship? Oh, certainly. So at this level, you know, everybody's, everybody's really competitive, and, you know, I think that was a tough loss, so I'm sure they'll come out with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. How much different are they going to be without Nerlens tomorrow? Uh, he's a you know he's a great player. He has an impact the game in so many different ways. So it'll definitely be a different looking team, but they're still very talented. So it'll still be a, you know, a challenge for us. Is there a chance more to attack the rim maybe without him being? Oh, certainly. You know, you know, uh, we came here the first time. It's definitely hard to get any looks at the rim because of him and uh, Collie being in there presented a uh, really imposing presence at the rim. So it'll I think mean, I think it'll be easier getting like around the rim, but you know they're still. We still got some time to him. Do you feel like he has 0-1 after the way it went down here? Well, yeah, yeah, we had a lot of games like that, and uh, we uh, definitely feel like we, we're glad we have another shot. How different are you guys in that first game? Um, I think we're growing a little bit, and um, you know, a lot of guys are playing better and more comfortable with their roles, and I think we're getting better at the end of the game, so I think that's something that we've grown uh, a little bit from last time. Rod, three out of your last four games, you scored 15 or more points. But what's been working for you offensively? Um, I really just try to go out and attack and uh, attack the game and try to create as many opportunities as I can and make the most out of all the opportunities that my teammates have been creating for me. Rod, been been hitting the threes, and early in the season, it looked like you were you were looking to score a little bit more in the post. Have you kind of gone back to your outside game? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was, I was struggling to shoot it a little bit earlier in the season, but uh, I don't really think about it too much in terms of where I'm scoring. I just try to, you know, take the opportunities as they come. So the coach had said on Saturday that it seemed he wanted guys who shot decisively. I mean, are you now not thinking about it and just letting it fly? Oh, certainly, certainly. I had a good talk with uh, one of our coaches, and, he, you know, he told me if you're thinking in between drive and shoot or anything and shoot, just shoot. So that made things really clear for me and gave me a lot of confidence as to what I was supposed to be doing on the floor. Right, a lot of people think Kentucky fans are the most annoying in the SEC. Where do they fall in your heart? Um, you know what? I don't I don't mind them too much. I mean, you know, any time you go on a road environment like that, there's a lot of environments like that in this league. So. You know, I wouldn't you know. I don't know if I put them at the top of the list, but they certainly have some uh, very enthusiastic things.